With tubular peyote, you can do it as either an even count or an odd count number. Uh, with even count, what happens is you always have a step up at the end of every row. And the reason for doing that is because you end up with a flat top. Uh, it's even across the top and uh, even across the bottom. And so there is, there is a reason for doing that. However, if you're doing a tube that, say for instance, you might be making an end cap for, or where the, where the uh, flatness and straightness of the end of the tube is not an issue, maybe you're hanging fringe off the end, then I honestly think that odd count is a better way to go. And the reason is you don't have to worry about that pesky ste step up. So let me show you how you would do odd count tubular peyote. When you start it off, uh, just like any other piece, I would suggest not using um, a, a knot when you put it together. I actually like to just turn it into a circle. It gives you a way of getting the uh, thread out of that end if you need to. So let's see here, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. 10, no, let's do nine. Okay, so I've got nine beads here and I just bring it down so that I leave a tail long enough to weave back in later, pass through that tail, from the tail end through all those beads once more, which still doesn't really turn it into a circle. You still end up with this little lip of thread showing. So what you have to do is continue in that same direction and pass through one more bead. And then when you tighten up, then it turns into a pretty little circle. And what you'll have is your tail thread coming out of one side of the bead and your working thread coming out of the other side of the bead. Just the way you would if you are using uh, an even count, you might wanna use a dowel. So in this case, I'm using a knitting needle uh, to put down the center of your piece. It helps you kind of grow your piece vertically, uh, because frequently that's the hardest part is getting those first couple of rows grown vertically. So this kind of just gives you a surface to lay that bead on top of. So what you'll do is, I just found a knitting needle that worked pr nicely with this size, and I'm picking up a bead, I'm skipping a bead, and I'm passing through the next bead. So this is just like any other peyote the only difference in odd count peyote is when you get to the end of the row. Okay, let's tighten this up so I don't have all that thread showing. I want those guys to stack on top. There we go. Take your time as you do this. Remember that those first two rows that you add with any kind of tubular project are gonna be your really hardest ones. So what I find people doing most is they're trying to work really fast because they want to get it over with, right? They don't want to do it. I'm skipping one, passing through the next. And so they try to rush it and that causes all sorts of problems. So my particular, anytime I'm trying to do something more difficult, my um, habit is to start working more slowly and deliberately. And by going slowly, it allows you to kind of uh, control what's happening a little bit fast more. So I'm skipping one, passing through the next. This is the fourth bead that I've added. So normally this is where I would have a step up, right? But what I'm gonna do instead is we're not gonna do any kind of step up. This is what you have when you've added that last bead on the row. You've got two beads that are kind of sitting side by side right here and then an up bead or a sticky outy bead. That was the first one of the new row that I just added. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pick up one. Oop, that's a really skinny one. Let's get a better thick bead. I'm gonna have it sit on top of the second bead that's sitting right side by side. And then I'm just gonna pass through the first sticky outy, like so. And now you can just keep going for all eternity and just pass through the sticky outy beads. And you will never have a step up. So like I said, this can be re a lot easier for you if you find those step ups to be troublesome. So odd count is great for that very reason. So we're just gonna keep going. And there's always gonna be a sticky outy bead straight ahead of you. And if there's not, then you got a problem, then something happened, like so.
And like I said then, for the persnickety, and of course I tend to be one of those, but for the persnickety, the downside is you'll never have a straight edge along here. Notice how there's always gonna be a little bit of a ramp going on. You're gonna always have one spot that's gonna be a little higher than all the other spots. And that's why this isn't good for something where that kind of piece is gonna show. Uh, it's ha It really kind of needs to be hidden. So under an end cap or with fringing or some kind of embellishment. But odd count peyote is super duper easy in the tubular form. So it's, go forth and play with this, and then you can uh, design all sorts of things where you've got all sorts of fringing coming off the end. Uh, I would love to see some of the projects that you guys come up with, so feel free to share them with me. Uh, subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't lose any of these tips that I'm putting out once every week, and we'll see you soon, okay?